Hey, and welcome back to Kingdom 360 with your host, the Grand Inquisitor Zane Venturi. Now, today we're going to be talking about the topic of when your partner, i.e. boyfriend or girlfriend, tries to make out or says to you or always threatens you that they're going to leave. And if you're in a situation where you value that person a lot for whatever reason that you have some kind of strong emotional attachment to and what they do, they take that A for granted but to try to take advantage of that fact that you have a strong bond with them. So it feels like you're always walking on eggshells and that the wrong word or saying the wrong thing could invoke a reaction where they will threaten to leave you. So what I want to talk about is the dynamics of what's going on. Ultimately, people who keep you on eggshells, walking on eggshells, or they're always trying to threaten um, try to threaten you with leaving, ultimately people like that are playing at a scenario in, in scenario in their minds, but in reverse. So the things that they fear the most they will try to reverse it onto you. So the fact that they fear maybe you would leave them or someone leaving them, um, they will try to project that. That fear is then, it's like it's a projection. Their actions are a projection of the anxiety that's going on in their own minds. So they will always try to keep your neck shows. And ultimately, in a way, they're telling you what they fear the most. They fear that you would, leave them for someone better or more worthy than them and they also were telling you that ultimately I can be controlled if you reverse what I'm doing to you back onto me you can then control me and it's quite deep because ultimately they're telling you here how they want you to treat them um but they're not aware of this. They're telling you, in a way, they're telling you that the only way you can handle me is if you can turn the tables on me and have me eating out of your hand and and also kind of keep me in fear of losing you. Cause, because that person has so much anxiety within them, that can be bypassed with the fear of them losing you. Um, Because, again, things like anxiety and so forth, they're all created in the mind. They're not external, they're internal. So if something is created internally, it needs a release, and that's through the actions of how they are towards you. So they act with fear, and they can't tell you, look, this is the fear I have inside. They're going to project it by turning the tables, by saying to you, listen, you know, I'm going to leave you. If you go out tonight, I'm going to leave you. Or if you do that, I'm going to leave you. Anything. You could say anything and they will try to use it against you. But what it is, with Kingdom 360, you never observe, uh, absorb. You observe the construct of their language and what you're saying. You don't take it internally and into your consciousness and start trying to process no. Just look at it for what it is. It is what it is. You watch how they operate, what they're saying, the construct of their language, if you do X, Y, and Z. Are they coming from a place of fear? More often than not. So if they are, then if you understand it, you can t turn it so that you are not being persecuted yourself by them. In a way, they're coming from a place of fear and... In a way, they want you to take that fear away from them. And they've told you. And this is going on in their subconscious. That's why you'll find that they'll go, they may go, people like that may go with somebody else. And you see them like a little lamb. Oh, she was so vicious towards me, or he was so vicious towards me. But then they're with somebody else who knows by just by the nature of who they are as a person, they don't may, may not necessarily know, but that's just how their personality is. They know how to control or understand that person 
subconsciously and they get on like a house on fire and you know that's what I wanted to share with you today is that what anybody is if somebody's coming from a place of fear they're projecting their fear onto you now how you turn the tables is no a don't react to their fears it's like if that's what you feel is best for the relationship then I'll leave it in your hands to decide you've put the ball in there cool oh it's over okay and then they'll say something uh, like oh that means you don't love me well, clearly what you're actually saying is that you don't love me right because you're the one that's telling me that you want to leave me or you're threatening to leave me so you're the one that's coming from the place of wanting to um, leave me or abandon me and when you start talking like that in the frame where you have the control they then don't have the control and that's what I'm trying to project to you is everything is you know pliable it is pliable you can come in where you can come in very strong towards them and not I say take advantage of them but show them look I'm not going to allow you to push me around it's up to you if you want to go with someone else be my guest ultimately are you saying is this your way of allowing me to meet other people that could be potentially love me more than you ever could if that's what you're telling me then isn't that a really nice gesture on your part right that's it for now I hopefully I've given you something to think about because um, I truly feel that when you can talk to these people and put them in a situation where they're thinking, you know, in a uh, self-destructive path, you can lay it out for them and tell them, well, listen, your destructive path, there is a good ending for me here, is I meet someone who can love me more than you potentially could and I could and then I'm not afraid to care for them and love them and be with them and share myself with them from now until the end of time and that's a beautiful gesture on your part guys I'm going to leave you there um, and hopefully please subscribe please um, watch all the adverts click all the links and maybe leave a comment uh, feel free to join me on social media Facebook etc and uh, hopefully I'll be seeing you soon